All right, so now that we have our items here, we need to go and spawn them. So let's go up to our override function, and we're going to go to self dot background color is equal to off black color. And we're going to spawn um, button zero, spawn button one, spawn LB, um, main here. All right. And um, we're also going to spawn LBL score. And we're also going to randomize the color. So let's just take a quick look at this. Save it if you already haven't done so. And we'll take a look and see how this works here. So we go into the simulator. And there we go. That's starting to look pretty good. OK, we got red. And we haven't done anything with the colors yet. Before we move on, though, let's subtract only 100 from each of these. And if we really want to, by the way, we could set up a hold variable. We'll say, or we'll call this button offset from center. And we'll make that equal to 100 at this point. And we'll say button offset from center. And that sounds like a mouthful, so I'll just simply copy that here. And it probably says it needs to be a CG float. So that's OK. We can just simply go and make it a CG float. Not a problem there. So let's go ahead and let's run it. Take a quick look. And that seems like it's a bit too little now. And that's why we set that up. So we can change it to 120. And we can see what that looks like. And of course, we can always uh, change it in here. So looking pretty good. Maybe make the width 150 by 150. That might be a bit better. Let's take a look at this here. And look at that. So we got orange. And everything is working out so far. Again, save it if you haven't already done so. Now, even though we have randomized the color here, what we have not done is we have not added in uh, the correct color or the, the, the incorrect color here. So let's go ahead and let's add in uh, the, uh, the proper button logic. So we'll call this function choose proper button and we'll call choose proper button right here okay and what we'll do is we'll say and this is where life gets a little complicated we're going to say if random color is double equal to zero then we're going to say correct color is equal to ui color dot green color and incorrect color is equal to ui color dot and we'll say red color. Okay. Now we need to copy this a total of six more times. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's go to uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now we need to choose the, the correct colors. So it went green, orange, and I think it was red. And I'm going to go here, and this is going to be blue. And we got blue, we got purple, and purple. And we're going to say that this is. Um, pink here, but this is kind of weird. There is actually no pink. So let's go UI color. And what we'll do is we'll do 1.0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 1.0. Okay? And so that's our pink color. If you want to, you can make, make it pink like that there. Add in a comment. It's up to you. And we'll say UI color dot yellow color. Now, we now have the correct colors and the incorrect colors. What we need to do now is add in some incorrect colors that are different. Because otherwise, if we know that the incorrect color is always going to be um, you know, red, then, well, that's not very good here. Okay, So just like that, and green, green color. See, and then there's a, a gray 
color. And I believe both kinds of gray work. Uh, no, just uh, one spelling. And I can never remember if this is the British or the American spelling. But either way, that's the one that you're using. And we'll go and we'll say that, well, this is purple color. All right, so now we have the random colors set up. The thing, though, is that we also need to set the colors here. So we're going to say um, if button correct is double equal to zero. So that means button zero is going to be correct. We're going to say button zero dot and then color is equal to correct color. Okay. Then we're going to go to button one dot color is equal to incorrect color. And all we're going to do is we're going to say this is incorrect color. And this one's here is going to be correct color. OK, there you go. So that works, works out really well. And what that's going to do is that that's going to set the color here. So let's just take a quick look at this before we move on here. And yellow. So there is indeed a color here. Now what we could do is just to test this we can say the for touch in touches we can simply call randomize color and that way every time it will we'll go and do and we'll go do that here okay so every time we got purple, orange, purple, red, pink and you can see that it is either one of the cuttings here purple, orange, red and this is actually looking pretty good I like that quite a bit, okay? This includes the tutorial.